welcome to Ask the Rheumatologist. Today we're going to answer the question, what does a positive ANA test mean? So ANA stands for anti-nuclear antibody. And this is an antibody your body essentially makes by mistake. It's an antibody against protein in the nucleus in your cells. And of course, your body should just be making antibodies against foreign objects, viruses, bacteria, things that shouldn't be in your body. Even though the body does this by mistake, in the majority of cases, an ANA test is actually a false positive. It doesn't indicate anything wrong with you or that there will be anything wrong with you. It doesn't suggest that on its own that you have a disease or any medical condition. Now, in some cases, it can be associated with certain rheumatic diseases, and the most common one being systemic lupus erythematosus. However, it is not diagnostic of lupus on its own. So a positive ANA test does not mean someone has lupus. A negative test certainly is reassuring. In most cases, it rules out a diagnosis of lupus or other associated connective tissue diseases. But again, and it can't be emphasized enough, a positive ANA test does not make a diagnosis on its own. And we'll kind of show you how that is. So in this graph here, you can see there's approximately 2,000 people that are, are being displayed. Well, let's highlight about 200 of them. Because in fact, about 200 of these 2,000 people, depending on where the test is being done and the format they use to, to run the test in the lab, will be ANA positive. That's pretty normal. However, of those remaining 200 people, only one will likely end up having lupus. Meaning out of 200 positive ANA tests, 199 of them are just fine. They do not have an underlying diagnosis of lupus or a connective tissue disease. And hopefully that's quite reassuring. ANA is just one, one test of many things required to make a diagnosis. And we can't emphasize enough, talking to patients and doing a physical exam remain critical components. ANA is also only one of many tests that a rheumatologist may do to help make a final diagnosis. And it's putting all the information together, not just taking one piece, which is allows us to understand what may be going on. And again, to state it just one more time, an ANA test on its own does not make a diagnosis. For more information or to learn more about lupus, visit us at Alberta